Welcome to GCN Training. My name is Manny Alpha, and today we've got a great session for you called the Spin Out. We're going to be spinning out until we pass out. No, no, no. Wake up, wake up, wake up. We're going to be spinning and we're going to stay awake. It's going to be a fantastic session. It's only about 20 minutes long, so it really does finish. It just it blink and it's over. We've got a really good company here. I've got Connor Dunn right here. We've got Manon. We've got Emily. And we got Morgan right up back there. Um, how you all doing, guys? Doing yeah. well. Yeah, looking forward to this, this, this session. Yeah. <laughs> Ready to spin like a ballet dancer. Fantastic. Ballet dancer. <laughs> like a ballet dancer <laughs> in a tutu connoisseur. <laughs> um, so if you are, you know, tuning in, doing this session before work, this is one of those. Just you know, if you if you're time pressed and you've got only 20 minutes to work with, this is one of those sessions that you can quickly get a benefit out of a, a short sort of interval session like this and just, you know, go to work with a smile on your face and your breakfast. Or if you're getting home from work, been a busy day, you just want to quickly smash out a session to keep that energy level up, to keep your fitness topped up. This is one of those sessions for you. We're going to be working on cadence. It's not necessarily going to tire you out too much, but we're going to be focusing on getting those legs spinning, okay? Um, in terms of exertion, one being fairly, it's super easy, 10, be, 10 being very hard and five being moderate. Today's session is probably going to be more five out of 10, but we're working on those techniques, getting those legs spinning like a track star. So I'm really glad to have you joining us. And I want you to pedaling at 60 rpm okay so shifting over to 80 now all right we're doing our warm-up <laughs> getting ready okay so what we're going to be doing pretty much we're going to be doing uh, four sets of intervals here we're going to be starting off at um, 60 80 100 and then 120 so at 20 each we're just going to increase it and before you know it, the session is going to be over. You're going to work up a sweat. You're going to enjoy this session. Activate those muscles. Get the legs spinning. Okay. How do you all feel about this? Let's watch <laughs> it. Yep, ready to go. 120 RPM. That's spicy. my limit. My limit. It is going to be spicy. <laughs> Paprika and season and everything else at the end of that one. <laughs> What I want you to do guys now is I want you to find a nice gear. I want you to feel like you're floating over your pedals, so no, nothing too hard. We're kicking up to 100 RPM now. Okay, for one minute, just lift it up. And you wanna be able to, you wanna feel your legs spinning. You don't want it to be too hard a gear where it becomes uncomfortable and you feel like you're grinding. You really wanna be on top of that pedal. There you go. So find a nice, comfortable, gear ratio and let's spin those legs make sure you also activate those muscles activate your glutes your hamstring your Achilles all of that good stuff we're not missing leg day today <laughs> good job keep your core nice and steady it. Okay, we're now going down to 60. Let's bring it down to low cadence. Nice and low. And just focus on this. You're going to feel like you're grinding a little bit. So you want it to be a little bit more harder. You want to make sure that you're at a bit of a, higher, a harder gear to be finding it a little bit more difficult to pedal. Good job. There you go. And we're warming up. We're training all aspects of the legs, all aspects of the conditioning. Good job. Okay. Get ready to go up 
keep it at 30, 60 RPM again. We've got 30 seconds left. At 60 RPM. If you feel you're in too hard a gear, just lift it up a little bit. Today it's all about technique. Okay, let's ramp it up to 80. Okay, so I'm put into a slightly lower gear and get those legs up. There you go. Feel like you're trying to knee your handlebars almost. That's what we're going for. Woo. There you go. Okay. Get ready, we're going to 100 RPM for 30 seconds. Let's get the legs spinning. Good job. Get those ca that cadence up to 100. Next one is 120, so get ready. Make sure you're in a comfortable gear. There you go, now let's kick that. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Bam. Get that. Keep your core nice and straight, nice and solid. There you go, let the legs do the talking. There you go. Great job, now back to 80 for one minute. Time to recover. That's a tough one. Feeling a burn there on those high cadence efforts. How are you feeling, Manon? Yeah, that one hurt quite a lot, actually. 120 RPM. <laughs> Some going. Fabulous. So, as I said earlier, we're breaking this into four parts. That's one part done. Blink, and this session will be over. <laughs> Enjoy the moment. Okay, so you want to be getting ready to change gears. Make it a little bit harder. We're going 30 seconds at 60 RPM. So bringing it down. Legs should not be spinning as much. Fabulous. There you go. When it gets harder, make sure you're engaging the muscles. Engage the glutes. Good job. We're gonna ramp it up again. 80 now. Just put in a little bit of an easier gear. And let's raise it up to 80. After this, we're gonna ramp it up to 100. If you're comfortable in the current gear that you're in, stay there. If you need to make it easier for yourself so you can float above the pedals, then keep it, keep it going. Ready? Let's go to 100. 30 seconds. There you go. I want to see you kicking a little bit more. Nice and steady. Upper body keeping nice and steady and firm. Relax your shoulders. Just let the legs do the talking. I'm already beginning to sweat. We're almost, we're almost done. Get ready. 120. We're gonna ramp it up now. Let's sprint. 30 seconds. Woo! Get that. Turn. Nine. Eight. We're counting down. Keep on going. Nice one, Morgan. Three, two, one. Easy. 
down to 80. There you go, recover. Good job. Woo. We're already halfway through. Woo -hoo. That's two out of four sets already. <laughs> Look at my face, I'm sweating. How are you finding it, Connor? Yeah, it's good. It's just like a gradual build up to that final effort. Exactly. So it kind of creeps up on you before you even hit it. And then in that 30 seconds, it's just legs burning. Just spin the legs, try and get as much out of you as you can. Solid. You're out of breath by the end of it, just by keeping the cadence as high as you can, really. Exactly. Exactly. And this is one of those sessions when you're time pressed. It's fantastic. It just keeps your fitness going. So come to weekend, you're ready to, you know, fire, fire all cylinders. <laughs> all right, down to 60. So change it up a notch. Make it slightly more difficult for yourself. And just grind. There we go. It should be five out of 10 in terms of difficulty. So try and keep your body nice and firm, upper body relaxed, there you go, I'm gonna raise it up to 80, change gears, make sure you've got a nice gear for yourself, imagine if you're riding out on the road, you want to normally be around 80 or 90 rpm, so if you're doing like a two hour, three hour ride, this is where you want to be sitting in that sort of comfort zone. Okay, but we're going to ramp it up now to 100. There you go, 30 seconds, 100 RPM. Now, if you're really having a go, you're really trying hard, trying to go really fast, you'll be at 100 RPM. But obviously, we can't sustain this one forever. Go less than five seconds and we're going into supersonic mode 120 rpm get ready go 120 now we're sprinting Woo. there you go 20 seconds remaining keep it going 10 seconds now we're really sprinting for that town sign. Let's get that side post. Five, four, three, two, one. Excellent. Relax for two minutes. Three out of 10 effort. 80 RPM. You want to keep those legs spinning. We're not all the way down to 60. We're down to 80. Good job. And we're now in like active recovery mode. So you still want to be pedaling. You want to be doing what you can sustain for maybe three, four hours. We're in that mode right now. How are you finding it, Emily? Exactly that. Yeah. <laughs> when you've got a limited time, you want to make the most out of it, but you don't want to burn yourself out completely. It's just a fantastic drill. Also, if you're, if you're struggling with motivation, for example, these kind of drills are really important because it's only 20 minutes. We're onto our last one already. And <laughs> this is a fabulous way it's almost like a cheat code really to keep your fitness level you know sustained top top so you don't lose too much so consider doing these kind of drills if you're pressed for time you lack motivation you can just talk yourself into maybe doing one set and before you know it you completed four sets 20 minutes gone you're drenched in sweat you're having a shower and you're feeling great afterwards <laughs> okay, get ready, you got three, two, one, we're gonna 
Keep it still at 80 RPM for two minutes. Just recovering now. Make sure your legs are still spinning. There you go. Good job. We are going to sort of finish this off with a nice crescendo. Got to max out 120 RPM for one minute to close this. If you're not sweating by now, believe me, after that you're going to be sweating. <laughs> if you have liked this um, session and you want to see more sessions like this, feel free to comment. Comment below. Let us know. If you want to see me make more of an appearance, comment below. <laughs> Tell DC and you want to see more of money. And I'm going to make an effort to bring you more content. There's a host of stuff you can get on the DCN channel. From training rights, the training sessions just like this. To, you know, documentary series. Groundbreaking stuff. Just need to just click on that button, subscribe. And make sure you check out all the content that's available to you. I love DCN because DCN is basically, has been my gateway, my gateway into cycling, to understanding cycling culture, understanding how to fix my bike, you know? So it's wonderful to be here. And we want to carry on with that tradition and bring part of that knowledge onto new riders and new people. You joining us today, you're part of that. Okay, let's get ready. 120 RPM, let's go for one minute. Make sure you got a nice cadence. If the gear is too hard, bring it down. Get the legs spinning. Woo! Let's go, let's go, let's go. This is the last one. We got 30 seconds left. Let's go, Morgan. Let's go, Connor. Let's go, Manon. Come on, Emily. We're almost there, 17 seconds. Woo, there you go, you're almost there. Last, last five seconds. Push, 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 push. Ali, 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 Ali. Woo, well done. Woo, oh. oh my gosh. Give me a second. Damn. Woo. I was trying to keep pace with Manon, but she was just spinning way faster than me. Track rider coming out. You can see her technique when she does get into that mode. It's a, it's a wonderful sight. If you're able to check out, you know, if you're able to see what Manon's doing, try and replicate that because that there's how you spin when you're on a bike. You've got to be on top of those pedals. Make sure your legs are doing a full. 360 motion, engage those glutes, use those muscles to good effect, keep your core nice and balanced. This was a thank you once again for joining us. I hope you know this is good. You're gonna have a wonderful day after this. <laughs> you certainly earned your next meal because within this 20 minutes, you probably burn some serious calories. So enjoy that to yourself take the next couple of minutes to just warm down make sure you're breathing in and out take some long deep breaths center yourself give yourself a tap on the back if it was easy everyone would be doing it All right comment below Want to see your rating from one to ten? No, actually, one star to five star. <laughs> Let's not get to one to ten. <laughs> if you enjoyed this session, give us a five star rating. If you didn't, don't rate. <laughs>